जेजमैन थे और कैजमैन थे और इट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज कोबरा लिली इट्स एन एक्जॉटिक साउथ अफ्रीकन नेटिव बल्ब दैट ब्लूम्स इन लेट विंटर और अर्ली स्प्रिंग इट रिक्वायर्स कोल्ड वेदर एंड अ लिटल वेट वेदर यू नो दैट्स वेन इट यू नो द बल्ब दे स्टार्ट टू स्प्राउट एंड द लीव स्टार्ट टू जर्मिनेट सो आई हैव दीज टू चैजमैन थे बल्ब्स विद मी एंड दे वर प्लांटेड इन द ग्राउंड एंड ड्यूरिंग समर दे ब्लूम्ड अ लिटल बेट यू नो वन फ्लावर शूट फ्राम ईच ऑफ दीज बल्ब्स केम आउट and then uh, as the uh, summers became harsh the, the plants uh, died and i dug up these bulbs so because they didn't bloom very well i want to now plant them in a planter so that you know the soil is better and uh, maybe they get more space because where they were planted that uh, soil is not very good so that's what i am going to do so um uh there's not much we have to do i'll just uh, put it uh, in uh, this planter which has good potting soil mix and uh, just fill it up with the soil on top water it and then leave it you can plant the bulbs uh, in uh, early fall and uh, as the rains start uh within a few months um, they'll uh, start to develop leaves and uh, they'll start to grow alternatively uh, even if it is summer you can just put it in the planter cover it with soil and just leave it in one corner of your garden and as the fall starts and the rains start uh, they'll start to develop leaves and that's what i am doing here so uh, it's been a few months and it's fall now and uh, it has started raining and i see that uh, the plants have started to come out of these planters so our bulbs are doing really good and there are a lot of plants growing so i had put one bulb in here one bulb in here and if you look at this you know it has grown from 3 4 5 6 plants here and four plants in here not sure if uh, those actually it's not called bulb but it is combs so i wonder if uh, it has multiplied into multiple combs or is it just one comb and it has so many plants not sure about that but really happy to see that they are growing nicely and so they are outside uh, in partial shade and the soil stays moist and that's what is helping them grow so uh, these are deer resistant and uh, the flowers are not that fragrant uh, they like uh, partial sun you know too much sun is not good and they can be really tall so you know initially i had planted it in small planter but then i uh, transplanted it into a bigger planter because i realized that uh, the plants will simply fall over uh, the initial planter was really uh, small and look there is a flower bud coming out of this plant i'm really really happy you know i had these two combs uh, they grew nicely and now i am getting the flowers so it's uh, very good very i'm really excited to see it bloom it's really interesting to see how these flowers grow you know in the middle of these leaves um you know a very thin flower stem comes out it's like flat completely flat so you know if you look casually then you won't even notice this and then slowly it grows into a big stem and flowers come out of it so this is a leaf and this is a leaf on this side and then from this leaf from the middle you can see another flower shoot developing once the um, 
flowers are spent then you should uh, prune the flower stem because you know um, once the seeds form then they scatter and they um, develop a lot of uh, plants uh, the only thing is they don't bloom uh, too quickly it will take a few years for them to bloom so if you don't want that to happen then you should um, uh, basically cut off the flower shoot uh, after it is spent and throw them away and uh, you know maybe every three four years you can divide the combs and uh, develop more plants they can grow in any kind of soil but of course uh, uh, a good uh, soil with a lot of compost is always better and i saw the results you know in my in the planter when i put these combs and look at these you know there are so many uh, flower shoots coming out last year when they were blooming uh, both of the combs had just one flower shoot and this time so many flower shoots have come out because uh, the soil that I'm using in these planters is really good. So if you want more flowers then you should put um, a good soil and it should be well draining. You know just make sure that the planter has drainage at the bottom and also the soil has some perlite or uh, you know coarse sand or something. And once, uh, you know, the season has passed and it has fully bloomed, uh, don't take out, suppose uh, it snows where you live and you want to take out the bulbs, don't take them out right away. Uh, let them, let the leaves grow and store energy in the uh, combs or bulbs. And once the leaves die down, then you can dig up the bulb and uh, store them in uh, aside your house. Uh, so don't uh, remove them immediately because at that time they have no energy left for the next season. So it is pretty simple to grow uh, chasmanthi year after year. Just plant them in good soil and water them in winters and they'll start to bloom and you can um, cut off the spent flower shoots and more flowers will come out and then slowly by the summer the plant will die down and in winter again it will um, grow leaves and it will again develop flowers and these flowers are really good uh, as cut flowers inside your house so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye